In this video, I'm going to share a brand new Divi feature which will make your design workflow even faster. So I'll be showing you step by step how to use it and how you can apply it in different scenarios. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Today's tutorial is made possible by DiviCake.com. Check out their huge selection of Divi themes, layouts and plugins. The link is in the description below. And also, if you want to learn how to design websites using WordPress, I have a free course which you can go and enroll right away. The link is in the description below. Okay, so right now I'm in my admin dashboard. So let's start off by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. So before we create our page, I just want to give you an idea of what this page looks like. So I'm just going to copy this link here and open this in a new tab. Right, so this is our website. So you can see we have a specific font throughout our website and also some colors and a style. So we also have a color palette that works with this. So in our new page that we're going to add, we are also going to add those elements. So right now, let's start off by creating a brand new page called About Us. Okay, I'm going to click on Use the Divi Builder and then I'm going to go to the Visual Builder. Instead of creating this page from scratch, I'm going to choose a layout from a layout pack. So I'm going to come over here, click on the expand settings, click this plus button. So the layout pack I'm going to use is the fashion layout pack and I'm going to choose the about page. Click on use this layout. It's going to take a while to load. Okay, so I think we're ready to go. So this is the layout. So as you can see, we have these different titles here. The colors don't work well as well because these colors do not match our branding. So we are going to go in and change all that and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do so. Okay, so let's start off by getting rid of this top um, section here. Right, so let's start off with our headings. So I'm just going to scroll down here so we can see here that this font is not Poppins because our font we're using throughout this tutorial is Poppins. Right, so let's go in and make that change. So I'm going to come over here, click on this gear icon to enter my module settings. So let's see what heading this is. So I'm just going to click inside here and now we can see that it's heading 2, which is great. So now we can go into the design tab, go into the heading text, and then click on heading 2 and make those adjustments. So right now my heading 2 font is Playfair. So I'm going to click this drop down and I'm going to choose Poppins. So you can see here on the right that it's changed straight away. Right, so now let's add a color to this heading. So I'm going to come over here. Now this is the color palette that I'm using throughout my website. So I'm going to choose this color here as my color for my headings. Right. So this is done. I'm really happy with that. So now let's say I want to come over here and apply that same heading to this page. Now, as you can see, you would have to go in and go through this whole process again. And this is where now this new feature comes in. So you don't have to go in and and do all those changes. All you have to do is to come over here to the top, right click and click on copy heading styles. Like that, I'm going to save this and then I'm going to come here to this heading. I'm going to right click and then I'm going to paste paste heading styles. So you can see here that this has saved me so much time in going in and making those changes. So before this change, what you'd have to do is to come here uh, to come here in this um, text uh, module settings, click on design, go to heading text. So as you can see, all these steps we don't have to do anymore because we can just copy the style and paste it. So the good thing about these styles is they don't just apply to text, they apply across all modules. So let's try, uh, let's try something else. So I'm just going to close this for now. And we're going to add our style here as well. Right click, paste heading styles. Now this one is aligned to the left. I'm just going to go in and just align it to the center. And save. And let's see where, we are, where else we need this. So yeah, obviously here on Stay in Touch, this font does not match our font. So I'm going to right click and paste heading styles. Now you can see here that this is happening really fast. So this is really, really cool. Right. So let's try something different. So right now, we have this button here and this button does not work with our design. So if you take a look here, this button here is a rectangle. It doesn't have any rounded corners. So let's go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to go into my module settings. Click on design button. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is to increase the size. So I'm just going to increase the size to about 22. I'm going to change that color to 
this white or this very light gray. And then for the button background color, I'm going to click this area here and add this color here for my background button, or my background color. And then over here on the uh, button border width, I'm just going to get rid of that width. Okay. So that looks great. The only thing that's missing now is the uh, hover effect. So I'm going to scroll down here. So I'm going to come to background uh, hover and then I'm going to select my color. So now if I hover, we can see that that's working. Okay. And also our button font is Poppins. So that's looking great. Right. So now let's say I want to use that button over here on this email opt-in. So every time we have this button, DV actually knows that this is a button module. So anywhere that uh, has a button on the website, you can actually apply these styles. So I'm just going to come over here to the top. I'm going to right click, copy button styles, and then I'm going to save this and then come over here to my opt-in. I'm going to right click and paste button styles. So all the settings from this button now are transformed into this opt-in which is fantastic. Now, this saves you a lot of time and I'm really excited about this new feature. Now, let's try something different because right now we did the text, we did the button. So let's, let's work with shadows. So let's say I want to add a background shadow onto this image. So I'm going to go in here into the module settings, click on design box shadow. So let's choose our shadow. So I'm going to go with this one right here. I know it's subtle. So let's, uh, let's just make this a bit more extreme so we can see the changes. Okay, so I'm just going to add some strength here like that. Okay, so let's say I'm happy with my box shadow. So all I have to do now is to right click, copy box shadow styles. I'm going to save this. And then now I'm going to come to, let's say this image right here. Right click, paste the style. And now my shadow has been added. And anywhere that I need to go, which accepts a shadow, I can go in and do that. So I'm going to come over here again, paste shadow styles. Can even do it here if I wanted to see so my shadow styles can be applied to any module that has styles uh, that can be added a box shadow style to it so I'm just going to remove that because that doesn't look nice here okay so let's say I want to add this to these images as well so I can just come over here paste shadow styles and you can see that it's been applied I can also do this to this row so I'm going to right click paste shadow styles and now you can see that it's being applied anywhere that I can add a shadow style. Why is this important? So let's say you designed your website, a client is uh, happy with it the first time, and then the client decides, okay, I'm not happy with that uh, font. Can you just change that font altogether? So as you saw how I did it in initially, I just had to go into the first instance, make the change there, and then I can just go in and copy and paste the style. Otherwise, it will take you, uh, you know, a very good few minutes to go in and make those changes, especially if you're using uh, different modules. And let's say here as well on these text modules, if you wanted to make some changes to this, you would need to go to each and every module. But in this case, we don't have to do that. Go into the text settings, go into design, right click on text, copy text styles, I'm gonna save that. And then you just come over here and paste the text style. So now you can see the color has been adopted just like that. And let's say you're not happy with this animation that's happening here on this image. You can always, or if you want to add this animation onto the rest of these images, right? So what you can do again, you can come here into the module settings, click on design animation. So here we have the animation style. You can see, I'll just make a, diff a slight change here and you can see that it's animating. So if you want to copy, this animation to all the images. All you've got to do is to click on animation here, copy animation styles, save that, and then come to the image, right click, paste animation styles. And now you can see it's animating. And this can be done really fast. So you can see here, I'm applying all this to all the elements I need. Now, this does not only work on images. I can actually apply that animation here on this text module. So I'm gonna right click, Paste animation style. Now you can see this is animating. So this just allows you to design your websites faster using all these styles, applying them to anywhere that you need to apply these styles. So this is a great feature and I highly recommend that you go in and start using it. If you want to learn more about Divi, I have a Divi course which 
has a discount right now. The link to that is in the description below. So that does it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. And don't forget to click on the bell notification. By doing that, you'll be notified every time I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.